<laughs> Dark Cloud 2 was a tale that changed me as a kid. When I got this game in 2003, I felt like I was going through a transformative time in my life. I was caught in the middle between bouncing who I wanted to be and who I was acting like I was. That may sound odd, but I think as we grow up we often battle with our identity and sometimes act oppositely than we actually feel. In my heart, I was an introvert, but I was afraid people would judge me in school for the things I liked. So I tried to act like I wasn't interested in those things at all later on in high school. Looking back, I honestly should have not hid who I was, regardless of what people thought. During all of this, Dark Cloud 2 was a game that I escaped into. I originally got the game on a demo disc inside a magazine, and it featured the forest area from the game alongside a boss fight. By the time I was done with the demo, I was absolutely hooked. Not only was the forest in this game absolutely beautiful, but the cast of characters I saw within it were awesome. Little did I know, this forest would grow to be one of the most memorable forest environments for me in my history of gaming. To this day, when I listen to its music, I still get chills as the memories come flooding in. I've been waiting to cover this area for a while now, so without further ado, let's take a trip through nature to the whimsical Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Rainbow Butterfly Wood is one of those environments in video games where you just want to sit back and relax. The surrounding area is absolutely beautiful, and you can almost meditate in the sunlight as it dances on the forest floor. This was one of my favorite areas in Dark Cloud 2, and for many reasons. This area was very symbolic to me as it was all about breaking out of one's shell. In the story, Max had just seen the outside world for the first time. Having grown up in a city that was sealed off from the rest of the world, I imagine seeing beyond its walls must have been something really emotional for him, especially someone fueled by a sense of adventure. On top of this, I felt the same way. I was about the same age as Max, and I often dreamed about seeing what was out there in this world. In many ways, I lived vicariously through him during this adventure. Even the way he recapped his journey throughout the game is something that I would totally do, or rather by now, have done. Besides the beautiful area where you explore and fight interesting enemies, there's a whole lot more in this area of Sindane, near where Rainbow Butterfly Wood is located. For those of you who may have not played the game, but are watching anyways, in certain places in Dark Cloud 2, you are able to build villages in order to secure the future of the world. You have free reign to build whatever you please, but there are some guidelines for what to look for. Having my own village that I built within this forest was something I really enjoyed, and I even built myself a house to live in. I would frequently build tall stone structures as well just to see the view of the town from above. Taking a trip deeper into the woods, at the end of the forest was a beautiful view that I would admire around the clock. This rainbow waterfall was something I would just stare at time and time again, especially since waterfalls weren't something I had experienced in life yet. Years later, I would come to experience their majestic qualities in person, although not entirely to the scale of what I saw in Dark Cloud 2. Regardless, both this forest environment and waterfall were something I cherished. Rainbow Butterfly Wood, while relaxing, also instilled change in me. The music itself expanded my thinking and always got me pondering about life in general. It's honestly pretty crazy to think about how much time has passed since I first set foot into this forest, because it doesn't feel that long ago at all, but it has been well over a decade. It makes me think about how much has changed during this time, and it makes me reflect on where I was as a kid when I had the whole world waiting for me. The adventures of yesterday become the tales we pass down of today, and this forest will always have a place in my heart. Because of this, Rainbow Butterfly Wood will always be one of my pixel portals. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this area. What was your favorite forest environment from a video game? Did Rainbow Butterfly Wood instill the same feelings in you as it did me? And last, what is your favorite place to gather your thoughts? We often are inspired creatively, or are simply more open to thinking about things when we are in a peaceful setting. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I do have one last thing I wanted to talk about before signing off. Touching on what I mentioned earlier, I did want to make a side note about not hiding who you are. If you're passionate about something, never fake or change who you are just to accommodate those around you. We shouldn't live life focused on interests that are not our own, just to simply fit in. So please don't ever change yourself because of that. You are you, and what you like is what you like, regardless if some other people may judge you for it. So don't change your passions for the sake of someone else. I hid mine for the longest time 
and it sort of felt like living a double life when I was young. And it honestly kind of sucked. Regardless if you are younger, my age, or even older, let your passion shine through you. You'll shine brightest when you are truly being yourself. Thanks for listening. And with that, thanks for tuning in to my trip to a memorable forest. If you'd like to join me on my YouTube voyage and take a peaceful hike through the woods, then the subscribe button is just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers. You've made it to the end of the video, but wait, your quest isn't over yet. On the left, a long time ago I once made a video about my top 10 force songs in video games. If you're like me, the force is something that simply draws you in. It's funny seeing how much I've grown since this video. On the right, you can find my last pixel portal, Mad Monster Mansion. As always, there's a slew of other videos on my channel too, so regardless, I hope you enjoy.